Hello boys and girls, um, here I am free to play, new video, new game, this is Battle Nations. As you see I've made a start on this, that's because I just spent half an hour recording the video and um, Audacity crashed on me and hopefully it won't do this this time because this was not necessarily the most enjoyable thing. Um, I'm going to get into what's going on here on the screen in a second, which you can probably guess because I'm sure you've seen exactly this model a few times before. Um, but we'll start off by looking down here. This is the main premium currency in the game. But, there is a but. Um, this is nanopods. And nanopods you use to buy various things. It's basically used for shortcuts. Um, I'm guessing there's going to be advanced things that you can only buy using them as you go along. Um, this offer here, compared to what you're buying on here, that's a decent amount of, item, of money and whatnot for $2.99. It's more than what you'd get. You know, spending that like two ninety nine there, you only get one hundred and ten. You get more of them. You get gold as well. You can buy gold with the nanopods. Um, <clears throat> no point. I mean, you can buy a lot of gold for one thousand nanopods. Shows how you know insignificant gold is to the economy of this game. But here, there's a seventy pound one, and like I've said before, your mobile phone port to PC is not worth seventy pounds um, to anyone. That's ridiculous to be asking people to pay. I say asking, trying to make people pay, because you're just going to constantly nag. Um, another element of this game, because when I say there's that and there's the gold, there's also all this along here. You see these resources? See all these resources? All of these resources. They're needed for various things as you go along, for the constructions and to buy upgrades and bonuses and stuff like that. So, whilst you can't buy them in the game, the production of them is required. So you're going to get to a point when you're going to need to keep grabbing that sort of stuff. Um, click on these, you get gold. These things generate gold. That's handy for about five seconds. Um, right, I'm going to show you how what the nanopods are for. I wasn't going to do this in the last when I recorded the episode a minute ago. But basically, as you can see, there's two things that are under construction here. This is extra land. I need to expand this to finish a mission. It takes one hour to build this one block of extra land. Um, Let's hurry it along and finish the mission that it was on, just to show you how things go. We cut the ribbon. Boom. Cool, thanks Floyd. I called dibs on the new land. Wah! Morgan, you can't call dibs. That land is for everyone on the outpost. Fine, you guys can use it, but don't forget it's totally mine and I called it. So there you go. I brought land. This is one of the early missions to expand. It, uh, it's basically saying it'll take an hour to get the new land that you want to build on. Um, or you can speed it up for one of those nanopods. Now I'm betting this 20 some odd nanopods I've got from finishing the tutorial by the time it's done doing all the missions to tell me how to build things there's probably roughly around 20 things to build such as this hospital which was another thing I had to build and it actually wants me to build one up to level 3 at one point. It mentioned that on one of the um, enemies. Um, let's expand that because these are the different options you have down here. So, this takes two hours to build. As you can see, I've got it's one hour thirty on there because I've obviously started the episode again. But let's hurry that up and we'll build the hospital, cut the ribbon, boom. Right. That was another mission, I believe. Right. These are all the missions you got. Various things to do. Let's choose one. Captain, we've still got raiders patrolling nearby. This is a turn-based strategy game, by the way. This this whole base building thing, this whole all the timers and everything, it's all like a side thing to the like about three minutes you'll spend fighting a battle every now and again in this strategy war game. Um, defeat three Vader Scout parties. Let's go do that. So we exit here, we go to the world map. I'm assuming. And is there any? Or do they come to my base? Or is this one persistent thing that gradually happens? I'm guessing it's a persistent thing, isn't it? Oh no, they're here. They're actually at the base. I didn't notice that. Right. So let's click that one. By the way, down here, population, 13 of 20. I'm going to need to expand that gradually, aren't I? I'm getting, that's going to cost money. So let's kill these guys. So here's the combat. Um, as you may have seen flash up on the screen there, there's Team Fortress 2 characters in this. Um, haven't unlocked them yet. I think you can get them when you get to level 10, which I'm going to bet is around the time that all the tutorial stuff stops. Signed as guest. It didn't ask me to sign in at any point. I've just noticed that. I got double XP for a day of I guess that's a bonus for starting off. Um, these are your troops, so you can choose who you want to have go into combat with you. Um, I'll say we take one of them, one of them, 
and let's fill up the rest of the spaces with those. Haven't got any pill boxes here or units. May only place five units. No, only place four. Is, what? Right. It's pretty simple. You kill the bad guy. There's a cooldown timer for a turn. One nanopod to heal them if you want to heal them straight away, by the way. So, yeah, there's something. Let's throw a grenade there. Whenever you kill the guy in the front row, which should happen this time... Did the grenade not kill anything? The grenade's supposed to have an area of effect, surely. Uh, right. Boom. Kill him. Right. Everyone moves forward. That's what I was going to say. Shooting at my guys. Probably going to come across, come across lots of enemies that have one hit kills. This guy's got C4 strapped to him. He's wearing a mask and he's got C4 strapped to him. Interesting. Right. Boom, shoot him. Then he'll take a go. Pretty straightforward. It's really basic. So Advanced Wars, this is not. Boom. I can see how if you're playing this on a mobile phone, you might, you know, get some level of joy from this. No, it's only a one thing. It didn't have an area effect on it. Just noticed. Good. I can see how you can play this for a few minutes, but I get the feeling that the further along you go, the more and more, the bigger those timers are going to get. The more awkward it's going to get. Got some zero gold. Now, do they heal between rounds? That's something I don't know. You have to heal them in the base, because it says you use the hospital to heal your guys. Should we open it? Got two injured troops. So, but he says he's got full XP there. Is he injured or not? Like, let's heal. Heal. There you go. Right, so he takes two minutes. They stack, you can only heal one at a time. I can hurry them along for one gold, the one nanopod though. And that costs nanopods each time. Oh my god. Right. I was just trying to use that just to show how it works. Right, let's chuck a pillbox down. This is your main defence unit as you get as you go along. Right. Which you get early on. There's a good idea. Let's chuck out a couple of those because you don't really need much else. Another one, why not? Right. Murder him. Right, he's dead. Everyone moves forward. Cool. Let's throw a grenade at one of them. When when these raids happen and you've got a couple of enemies to attack at your base, this is probably the most action you'll see from the game for a while. It is, um... Yeah, it seems to be very much based on resource management systems. I mean, there's even a farm built. I, I had to build a farm a minute ago. Well, I can't use him because, yeah, he can't fire for another turn. Do I? Oh, right, he's dead. Oh, they come and he's going to shoot at something. Probably that. Yep, he hasn't destroyed it, though. I'll destroy him. Boom. Dead. Look at that connecting symbol. <laughs> Very mobile phone. And why is this so small? Why isn't this scaled out to match all the other stuff? Right, 973 gold. Ready for promotion. Ooh, let's see what promotion entails. 112 gold, 4 hours. 4 hours to, to promote him. More timers. Okay. Gold. Gold. Always believe in your soul. You're indestructible. Alright. What's the next mission? Green Acres. Plant a cabbage. See what I said? I said there was a farm. I'm planting a cabbage. How about cabbage? I've always liked slaw myself, and the grandfather had a phenomenal sauerkraut recipe. Let's let's plant a cabbage. This in our war strategy game. Oh yeah, I was already building an artichoke. I was already growing one. Ah <sighs> let's hurry along the artichoke, shall we? Yeah, let's spend Spend one of our nanopods on an artichoke. Click that. Right. Haha, <laughs> wonderful. Now thinking perhaps we should build a kitchen or something first. Okay. That takes five minutes to grow this cabbage. I'm not going to speed a cabbage along. What's this here? Oh, is he back in action now? And the other one's going to be ready in two minutes. Right. Next mission. Get a move on. Why aren't you weren't you going to move the barracks to a new open space? Wasn't that the whole point of this? Well I was, but it turns out once one of the civilians got shot, everyone started going the long way around and leaving the barracks alone. Now Ramsey and I are going to use the open space to ride dirt bikes. 
Morgan, move the barracks. None of those are sentences. Right, move the barracks. Cool, why not? Uh, that. Pick a building to move that. There's no road. Pop it there. Sure. There, Floyd, we moved it. Floyd, Floyd, hey, Zoe, where's Floyd? I want to make a big deal and pout about how we made me do my job. And there's Zoe. Oh, he and Ramsey are off riding dirt bikes in all the new open and empty space. Oh, they went without him. Oh, you got exit in build mode automatically, self right okay, doesn't automatically do it. Right, oh yeah, there's boosts, by the way. Boosts that you can buy with the nano things. If you wanted anything else, you could buy with. Oh, can you buy that with coin? No, you buy that with medals. That's one of the resources. Yeah. So, yeah, boosts. XP boosts. Long XP boosts. Short XP boosts. Super XP boosts. How long do they last for? Seven days. Wow. Anyway. Oh, he's ready. Right, I've got troops back. Right, shameless self promotion one. What other. Oh, you actually do have to build a bakery at some point. So he builds the worst house. Renewable raiders. Oh. So I'm waiting for them to return again, aren't I? Right. Great work, everybody. We did it. Did what? One of our units is ready to be promoted. Didn't you notice that it's after the last battle? I did. I promoted him. Yeah. I did that. <laughs> right. Red cake. Yeah. Decorations. White pansies. Mortar. And an arsonist. I unlocked a Joshua tree in the last level. When you promote a soldier or your vehicle, all the units of that type get more powerful. Even new ones you build in the future. Oh, that's alright, surprised I don't make you wait for that. 500 gold. Right. So that's done. It counted that I'd already done that. Upgrade your barracks to level 2. I've already done that. More importantly, get interesting quality items. Blah, 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 upgrade, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, imagine it, Ramsey. Waves of waves of soldiers overwhelming. Can't imagine it. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah, already did that. I upgraded that earlier. Right. What's going on here? Nothing much. I haven't got any... Is there no bandits to attack? I want to get that third one. Uh, fine. What's mission? You're going to be popular. Go to Recall Ridge, assist five buildings. How do I train an arsonist? Ah, uh, you set fire to things. Apparently I get one to work for us, we're going to need merits. Apparently to get one to work for us. Why do we kill to get those? You can see where this is going, basically, can't you? Right, let's go to Recoil Ridge. That automatically takes you there, that's quite nice. So, uh, do I click on them? Oh, this is like Simpsons tapped out, isn't it? This is costing me money to assist. Uh, there you go. So wait, so the arsonist, the guy who burns down abandoned warehouses and stuff, he'll only help us if we prove we do good deeds and help our friends. What? Yeah, he's really into charity and giving back. What people aren't allowed to have layers. This is really judgmental, man. Okay, home we go. <laughs> oh, it's not. Oh, God. Don't lose your game data. Save your progress and more with a. Z2 account? Is that the name of the developer? No thanks. Uh, let's get some some of this sweet, sweet candy. There's the one of them. I can finish that mission now. Yeah, I was, um, as I was saying, let's get an arson. Awesome. Let's get one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them, one of them. Right. Um, I was watching Thingy, uh, Dead Man Wonderland recently and really enjoying the shit out of that. Well, good anime. Like, it's been a while since I found a really good anime that I properly enjoyed. Like Attack on Titan, everyone seemed to love that. I just eh, wasn't that big a deal to me. Um, but you know, I liked it. It was pretty much gunned down with organic characters, though, wasn't it? Let's face it. Um, but yeah, Dead Man Wonderland, I really enjoyed it. It does have a lot of the getting better from friendship thing. It's a little bit unpredictable in places. Um, not as unpredictable as Gantz gets, because Gantz is pretty much anything goes. But yeah, I quite enjoyed it. It's quite decent. Um, I've also been playing the Smash Brothers demo on my 3DS, and 
I can see why all those 3DSs got broken um, analog sticks because yeah that game's going to be hard on the analog sticks um, there's no options on the demo to be able to switch to uh, D-pad controls which I'd much rather prefer on that since you haven't got a GameCube stick amazing I've never seen a battle done so gracefully yeah cool so I'm guessing they have to rank up multiple times and then you can rank them up fully cool nicely done sir remember anytime you need some extra gold or wood <laughs> wood or whatever try taking out some raiders there's a good chance they'll be carrying something worthwhile plus it's always fun to shoot those guys yeah and we, and we can harvest our cabbage that's good right What's next? <laughs> um, yesterday I posted a new film review on filmdump.com. Feel free to go read it. It's for Out of the Furnace. It's not a bad film. Not a brilliant film. It's got some pacing issues, but it was decent enough. Uh, there you go. Man, I train an arsonist. You intend to train him to do. Will burn stuff mostly. Wouldn't it be more useful to teach him to burn one specific stuff and thoroughly? To train an arsonist. Right. So I guess... Uh, Units, arsonist, do we train, no, here, no, let's go to the barracks, no, you can't train in there, how do you train, or do you have to just build a new arsonist, is that what it's saying, it's not training the current arsonist, it wants me to make a new one, right, there's an arsonist, 7 minutes 30 it takes, train him, Oh, we can hurry him up for one more of these. That's gone. Right. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. I'm probably gonna do another film review it this weekend as well because I've got tomorrow off work. Um, did so? Did you work on focusing the arson? No, 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 no. Hilarious commentary. Um, I think in the next film review I do will be Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I've just got an urge to watch that, so I might sit and watch that tonight. Scarf down some ice cream and watch Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. I can. Be the piggy, like Napoleon. Green Acres Part Two. Grow an artichoke. I've already done that. I did that earlier. I did. I did the artichoke. You're making me do it again. Let's grow an artichoke. Hey, let's hurry it along because it takes an hour. That's another one of those gone. Collect the artichoke. Done. See, I'm making progress. I'm getting a sense of progress because I've been using these to to make progress. Isn't that good? Green Acres Part Three. Grow a daikon. Let's plant some daikon. I'm not even sure what that is, but it's going to be great. Can you make it into a stew? The boys of the 95th would love that. Let's grow some daikon. There it is. It takes one day to grow. Ah, oh, it costs 24 of those. I haven't got 24 of those. I can't grow the daikon. I can't finish this mission for 24 hours. Next. Moving on. Upgrade stone quarry to level 2. Have I already done that? Very nice. Our stone production is way up now. Yeah, I already did that. I did that in the last episode. Right. Still, still waiting on that. It's gonna take, gonna take a day. Zoe builds the worst house. Build a hovel. We really need to upgrade from this tent city we've got going. I've been in service too long to be waking up with backaches. Wait, are you saying you need a house? I can do that. I've never built one before. This would be fun. Right, let's build a hovel. So I'm guessing that's in here. Housing? Hovel. Does that give us a bigger population? I mean, it adds five workers, but how do you increase that population? Right. Let's put... Let's put it next to the barracks. Nice and easy for them to get to work then. Let's turn it that way around. You can't turn them all the way around. So you, if you put the houses this side, you can't turn them to face the road. Which I'm, I remember Simpsons tapped out doing the exact same thing. Was she saying something? I was ignoring that. How long does this take to build? An hour. Let me build it. Right, it's done. All done building the hovel, LT, Lieutenant. Lift trigger. I didn't know where you wanted it, so I built it on retractable tank treads. You can move it wherever you like. I'm sorry, what? My reaction. Just try not to overheat the engine, or it might start a fire in the ammo magazine, and that would be bad. Having Zoe around makes me feel not safe, apparently. Hey, we can get more gold in tiny little incremental amounts. How long does this take to generate gold? Four hours. 
I'll get 38 gold, isn't that a treat? Right, let's do another mission. Tax and spend. Collect taxes free to I just did that. I just... Right, we can't do that yet. We're going to have to wait for them to come back. Right. Build a bakery. No, this. Can I do some wargaming? Can I do some wargaming in my war game? I'm so sick of the cabbage that Floyd keeps growing for. I'm growing daikon, man. Just give me some chance. Ah, bakery. Um, thanks, Lieutenant. Right, let's build a bakery then. I've got two missions that are currently waiting to be finished because I have to wait for timers to happen. And like I say, because I've got no intention of playing this afterwards. <laughs> Where does bakery come into it? Bunker, repair bay, it's not under military things. Uh, shops? Must be shops. Bakery, there you go. 600 gold, 100 wood. Have I got. Yeah, I've got enough. Let's build a bakery. And we can put it there. How long is that going to take to build? Oh, not long. It's building. There you go. That's good. All rigged up and. Sp rigged up a spare jet engine. To help the speed of baking times. Ah, <sighs> okay. Well, cool. right. How are these coming along? 52 minutes till that, it gives money. Let's see, three minutes till I can get the taxes from that. Yeah, we'll get there eventually. So, yeah. What are that missions? Defeat the attacking boars. We're under attack from wild boars, sir. Attack? Like in an organised way? Well, they're rooting around Floyd's new farm. Permission to treat them as hostile. Um, permission granted. Let's kill some boars. Right. Um, one of them. One of them. One of them. Oh, we can get a pillbox out of here. One of them. Why not? Let's get another one of them. Right. Uh, he can shoot the whole row, can't he? Yeah. I think. Oh, we've got to start the fight. Mm. Did he shoot the whole row? I think he only shoots one. Yeah. Oh, look at them little boars. Look at these chubby faces. Let's throw grenades at the boars. Didn't do much damage, but he's burning. That's okay. Let's, let's throw a grenade at this one. Boom. Probably should have moved that before I started the round, shouldn't I? Because if I'd moved... Oh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay, it can hit them all. It's not going to hit them all though. I can't tell when it's going to hit everything and when it's only going to hit one. What is the blue bar? I don't. I don't know what the difference between a green and a blue bar is on them. All right. Can this one hit anything? Yeah, you can hit that. I finally got some war game going though. That's good, isn't it? it? Only took like, you know, about ten minutes of clicking on things and building farms and growing cabbages. Before we got to have a barn. Right, attack that. And he's dead. Yay! No one's promoting. Oh, yeah, because that takes time, doesn't it? Morgan, you should come quick and look. I've lured into. What I've, uh, come quick and look. I've lured some of the local fauna into the farm to help fertilise it. There's a whole herd of wild boars in the outpost. Oh, yeah. Don't go looking for them. They, um, left. Such a shame. Oh, we just killed the, we just killed something that would have probably helped grow fruit, food bear. Yeah. That's good. Friends. You don't have friends on this. Ah, that did increase the population building the hovel. There you go, that's how I answered. Right, four new missions. Still weighing on them. Can I collect those taxes actually? No, they're not back yet. Right, everyone must get stone. That's a reference to a Bob Dylan song. There's quite a few references I'm finding. Morgan, I think the captain should invest in a second stone quarry. Why not? Why not? Really? But we already have a stone quarry, and the other stone outcroppings are so far away. And my trick knee is acting up. One stone quarry is simply inefficient for our needs of our growing outposts. We need to build a land expansions thoroughly, thoughtfully, to allow us to access the resources we need. And you can help alleviate your trick knee by strengthening your quads. Hmm, well, let's build another stone quarry then. Where are we going to put it? Does it go to the same resource thing? Uh, that. Stone quarry. 
produces 240 stone a day. You know what else is 240 stone? My ex worked in that, sir. I can't put this anywhere. I don't have the space. I don't have the... There's nowhere I can put this. Let's cancel that. Right, I'm going to have to move something, aren't I? Uh, right, move... Does it cost money to move these? I can't move them there. Let's move... Yeah, to there. Okay. Let's move the pill box here. Is there anything there? That'll do. Can't see it, but whatever. Right. Now let's be. Oh, we can collect taxes. Two, three. Yay, that's that mission done. Yeah, don't care. <laughs> More taxes. Right. Where was, what was I doing? I was building a quarry, wasn't I? Ah, right. Build one of those, 200. And plonk him. I can't build that anywhere. There's not enough space there. No. It's... Where's chat come up? This is guild. What? Don't want anything to do with that. Right, let's see if I move something else then. Uh, hospital? Move that back. Okay. Move that back a bit further. Okay, so I guess it needs... Does it need line of sight? Uh, move that out here. Yeah. Let's move this as well. Done. Right, now let's see if I can build a quarry. It just, it looks like there's a space there to put it in. Better not be costing me 200 every time. Why can't I build that? What resources does it need? 240 stone, I've got that. Got the three troops. Why can't I build the stone quarry? <laughs> There's no... No logical reason why I can't build that. <sighs> what if we just try the advanced quarry? Let's see what that does. Let's see if it lets me build that. That costs 160 of that. No. Jeez. Uh, do I need another resource depot? It doesn't say that. Why is the chat icon has gone? You must be in a guild to use chat. I didn't want to use chat. Error. No. Right. Let's do a different mission. Lonesome West. Have two pill boxes or armored pill boxes. Right, is it going to let me put a second one down? <laughs> Build. Military. Pill box. Oh, so it say advanced pill box. Let's see how much the advanced pill box is. Advanced pill box is locked. I can't build that. But it would cost me eight of those things. Right. Let's build this. Oh, I can build that. Yeah, sure. Why not? Probably there. There you go. So, yep. Yeah. Save for sound. Money, XP. It's taking a long time to level up now, isn't it? Off that little bit we got into it. Right. Tooling around. Build a tool shop. She's using blah, blah, blah. Saying hilarious things. Keep the girl's hands busy. Let's build a tool shop. No, I don't want to go back into that. I want to go into that. So, what does tool shop come into? Shops, I guess. Tool shop. 2,500. That's a lot of the money I've got right now. Oh, that can go there. Yeah, no troubles. Right, you can sit here somewhere. Yeah. How long does that take to build? Ten minutes. Let's hurry that up. Yay. That's more of the nanopods gone. 
Uh, Morgan's right, you know, for his up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is there one mission left? Live fire training. Build a readiness flag. Nah, nah, nah. Let's build a readiness flag. This just goes on and on, doesn't it? <laughs> There's a readiness flag. Build. There. Right. So there's a readiness flag. There's no new missions. Right, tooling around. That's gone. Okay. Uh, right, it wouldn't let me build a second stone quarry. You saw that. I don't know what done wrong. Feel free to tell me in the comments. Um, that takes a day to grow, and I haven't got the nanopods to build it. Um, that's done. Boom. There you go. Yeah. Build a jackhammer. Right, let's build a jackhammer. How do you do that? Tool shop? Jackhammer? Takes four hours. We can hurry that with four nanopods. Let's do that. And now we're down to 11. That's half the nanopods we had when I started this video. I leveled up. Oh, I've got a nanopod. Okay, I've got one back. But one nanopod. There's a joke I could make about a certain soda in your new level, but I won't do 7 up. He's avoiding 7 up jokes. Thanks for the help. I'll be sure to swing by if I'm ever in the area again. Sure, assuming you don't die first or get eaten by something, swing on by. Mission complete. I've got 5 nanopods. It's giving back some nanopods. It's nice of it. There's attackers here. And now I've got more missions. Yeah. You get where this is going, it just cycles around like this. Um, I'm sure I'll do another video and update you on the Daikon situation when the 23 hours and 45 minutes is up is done. You know, maybe if I'm lucky I'll get enough nanopods to... Well, hell, maybe I should just buy nanopods. Maybe, maybe if I just click on get more and I just, like... I can buy 40 nanopods for 149 and I'll have enough to do that. Ugh. This is Battle Nations, everybody. I'm pretty sure you've got the idea, and you can see that it's entirely built around trying to make you spend money rather than asking you to spend money. Finding creative ways to engage the customer to make them think, hey, or maybe I'll put a little bit of cash into this game. Nah, nah, this game's just basically trying to shake you down, and it's, it's basically trying to entertain you with one hand, like it's twirling a baton, and going, hey, check this out. It's not even a good baton, it's just a plain pink one. It's got maybe some glitter sparkles on it. And you're spinning it around and you're going, look at this, look at this, look at this. It's slightly small because it used to belong on a mobile, but whatever. And the other hand's reaching around your back into your wallet, just trying to feel out if it can pick up some money. But hey, that's Battle Nation. A load of shite.